Hello everybody, welcome back to another video and today we're going to be talking about the direct hit and how I actually think it is better than the stock rocket launcher. So yeah, we'll get into it. So it has a plus 25% damage bonus, so it does way more damage, plus 80% projectile speed, so yeah, it's pretty fast. Uh, mini crits launched when it, the target is an airborne, so if someone rocket jumps over to you, uh, you can kill them pretty fast. And yeah, minus 70% explosion radius. So it isn't good at getting splash damage in. So yeah, this, this, I, I, I think this is definitely better than stock because of those reasons, and I'm going to talk about it. Uh, it is great at killing sentries, so it is absolute sentry machine. So yeah, it's all, overall just really great at getting sentry kills. I think. Uh, it also is really good at killing uh, light classes such as Scout and Engineer. So yeah, it's great at killing light classes. It can two-shot almost any class apart from Heavy and Overkill classes. So yeah, it's good at two-shotting and one-shotting light classes. And it can do up to 140 damage if you're right next to your target. So yeah, it does it does a really decent amount of damage, I think. It also It's also really easy to hit your enemy with this weapon because the uh, projectile speed, if your enemy is far away, it will be so much easier to hit your enemy with this. And uh, it builds up damage over time, so the plus 25% damage bonus may not seem like a lot, but it is actually a lot. It's way too much, I think. I think they, it should be 20, so it can't insta-kill light classes, because that is just a bit too overpowered for me. So yeah, that's that's what I think about this weapon. Um, and also launches crits airborne, so if somebody decides to rocket jump over to you, uh, they have just made the worst mistake ever. Don't, don't let, make sure you don't rocket jump over to a direct hit soldier, otherwise you are going to get destroyed by them, by their rocket launcher. So yeah, don't do that. Uh, it also can't deal splash damage, so it can't deal the normal amount of splash damage the stock rocket launcher would do. So yeah, it, it just can't deal as much damage as your normal rocket launcher would do. So yeah, that's that's a pretty bad downside, I'd say. But still, it's really it's only really good at getting direct hits, like the name suggests. It's it's just great at getting direct hits. And you don't need to get direct hits, you can still deal a teeny tiny amount of splash damage to it. But it will still do a decent a, like a chunk of damage. It might do about 40 damage, but still if you get a direct hit, 125, easy. So that's why I love this weapon because it does so much damage and it's really good at long range. And if you want to play him, play this version of Soldier, you kind of want to stay back because normal Soldier, the the, uh, the the range and stuff and the projectile speed of the normal rocket launcher is pretty slow. It's pretty slow moving. However, this is not slow moving because it is just, it is just fast. It's just the ro normal rocket launcher that like amplified ten times. That's how good it is. It, it may not have any splash damage, but I don't really think that's bad, because uh, I usually get direct hits as normal soldier, but I do m sometimes mostly rely on the splash damage, but however, with this weapon, I don't. And also, it's really, it's kind of difficult to rock jump with this weapon, because uh, of the fastest projectile speed, so yeah, it's still, it's pretty hard to rock jump with this weapon, but I don't think it is, but... It, it, it will take some getting used to, you will have to practice it because you, for the advanced rocket jumps, you, you, go, you will need to get practice, but just a normal rocket jump is fine, you can do a normal rocket jump with this weapon, so yeah, that's that's really good about it as well, and yeah, everything's good about this weapon apart from the splash damage, that's the only thing I think is bad about this weapon, and maybe the rocket jumping in this, with this weapon, because it is a bit, made a bit more difficult because of the faster projectile speed, the time it hits the ground, and the explosion rate. So I can talk about that. That that is a thing that gets you in the air. But still, I still think this weapon's a decent thing at rocket jumping, and it's great at, at killing people in the air because of the faster projectile speed. It makes it so much faster to kill people in the air because of the projectile speed. So yeah, that's that's also a great upside about this weapon. I think, I think there's a lot of upsides about this weapon, and I do think it's better than stock. Only if you're not playing, if you're playing in a non-competitive thing like casual or any community server, I think it is so much better than stock. And if you're playing something more advanced like competitive or something that you really want to practice on, I would use stock. But I still think this weapon, I still use this weapon a lot more 
in stock. So yeah. I also just want to give a big shout out to uh, Daddy for Fun and his channel because he usually makes some thumbnails. He didn't today, but still, check out his channel. He uh, he does some really cool content and stuff. So yeah, I think Daddy for Fun is great. Uh, subscribe, big thumbs up, uh, and I will see you next time.